Okay, Anadrol burned, what, 0.5, half a pound more fat, but it went for twice as long and at five times the dosage. So who's the clear winner in terms of fat loss? Anavar. Yeah, yeah, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here, nutrition training and hormone expert and Prometheus Pro Bodybuilder. Guys, today we're going to be talking about Anavar versus Anadrol, everything you could ever want to know when comparing the two, and ultimately, which is better? Which is better for maximum muscle mass gain, and which is better for maximum fat loss? Guys, let's get started. So, Anavar versus Anadrol, the first thing to look at is the anabolic androgenic ratio. Uh, this ratio was developed by scientists basically to, to measure and monitor exactly that, the anabolism and androgenic sides uh, of each anabolic steroid. Uh, for this comparison, obviously, Anavar versus Anadrol. And to note, you know, how is this going to um, affect people in real world medical and scientific studies? And this is what we know so far. So the scientists that ranked these hormones According to the latest, most modern studies we have, Anavar possessing an anabolic androgenic rating or ratio of 478 to 20. Um, I want to note right off the bat that some, sometimes uh, these rankings uh, can be off. Um, you know, not always when scientists or medical experts rank these hormones, not always are they dead on, um, you know, like halotestin or others. Sometimes they're, they're a bit off. Um, but in regards to Anavar and Anadrol, this needs to be said. Uh, the scientists hit the mark. These are dead on. And probably, guys, uh, this is more likely due than not uh, to the extensive, extensive studying of these compounds for medical uses. But we're going to get into that in a little bit. So Anavar, anabolic androgenic radio, or ratio rating of 478 to 20. Right off the bat, you see Anavar is extremely extremely anabolic on paper that's almost five times 478 that's almost five times uh the anabolism or anabolic component of testosterone milligram per milligram uh and in terms of androgenic very very low that's only a 20 so that's what one fifth of the androgenic sides of testosterone um, granted testosterone converts to dht via the five alpha reductase enzyme and that's where testosterone gets most of its androgenic properties. Not that you guys needed to know that, but moving on. Anadrol. Anadrol. Anabolic component of 320 to only androgenic 45. Uh, so, you know, right away when you're looking at anadrol, again, on paper, scientific rating, we see that anadrol is only 320 anabolic compared to Anavar 478. So what does this tell us? Right away on paper, the scientists and medical experts that rated uh, these very well-known, well-studied, well-documented uh, anabolic androgenic steroids, right away, um, you know, we're going on about 150% uh, percent, um, stronger when going off of testosterone as the base rating. So, you know, anabolic component, Anavar all day, every every day. Uh, Anadrol, when we're talking about androgenic, you know, the numbers don't lie in this respect. Anavar is only a 20 androgenic when Anadrol is a 45. So 45 still isn't that high, but you know, uh, when giving Anadrol to children and women, guys, that's almost it's it's you know about half of that of testosterone, but still half. You know, if you give a woman or a child 25 to 50 milligrams of anadrol, uh, it's still half as androgenic. So, you know, in terms of, um, you know, use in women or children, which anadrol was used for, uh, it's not a very smart bet when looking at the ana or androgenic rating of 45. You know, that's almost half of testosterone. 
So again, on paper, who wins? Anavar versus Anadrol. Anavar wins all day, every day on paper. And one interesting note, guys, that you're not going to hear a lot of people talking about. Uh, let's compare the have lives real quick. Anavar versus Anadrol. Anadrol is a DHT derivative anabolic steroid. Uh, Anavar is a DHT derivative steroid. I don't know if I mixed those up, but Anavar and Anadrol are both DHT derivative steroids. There we go. So Anavar has a half life of nine hours in the human body, and Anadrol has a half life of eight hours. So you know, they're both DHT derivative anabolic androgenic steroids, but Anavar is slightly longer. And what you can take from this is just because Anavar, Anavar is slightly longer half-life than Anadrol, what does this mean? It's slightly more, you guessed it, metabolic resistant uh, in the bloodstream and also uh, in muscle, fat tissue, etc. So half-lives can tell us a lot about uh, basically the breakdown in metabolism um, of whatever specific drug we are studying. Having said that, Anavar wins the anabolic androgenic ratio on paper, but let's move into where it actually counts, where the rubber meets the road. Let's move into real world studies. So here we go. Real world studies. First talking about muscle gain, muscular gain. All right, here we go. Anavar. This is 12 weeks, 12 weeks, 12 weeks of Anavar usage at 20 milligrams. All right, so 12 weeks of Anavar usage at 20 milligrams. We see 6.6 .6 pounds of lean muscle mass gain. Okay, 6.6 .6 pounds for 12 weeks at 20 milligrams compared to Anadrol. 5.7 pounds, but wait, it's not 12 weeks, for 24 weeks at 100 milligrams. That's right, guys, you heard me right. Let's say that one more time. Anavar, 6.6 .6 pound muscle gain, 12 weeks of 20 milligrams. Anadrol, 5.7 pounds for 24 weeks at 100 milligrams. Wait a second, what just happened here? The anabolic androgenic ratio, yes, it predicted that Anavar was stronger, but it failed to predict how much stronger. Look at this, guys. You know, 20 milligrams versus 100 milligrams. And the duration is twice as long uh, in regards to what? In regards to dosing time. 12 weeks to 24 weeks. 20 milligrams to 100 milligrams. So what do we see here? Anavar completely whoops Anadrol's butt in terms of building muscle mass. Again, you know, we talked about anabolic androgenic ratio. Anavar wins, as well as the half-life for that matter, and uh, metabolism resistant in the human body. Well, Anavar versus Anadrol in terms of muscle gains, uh, you know, and you can look at, you don't have to just look at uh, these two studies. You can look up other studies. There are tons of medical studies on Anavar and Anadrol. But what do we see with, you know, what is so nice about this study? We see clearly Anavar whoops Anadrol's butt in terms of muscle gain. I'll say it one more time just because it's so impressive. Anavar. Anavar, 20 milligrams for 12 weeks, 6.6 .6 pounds. Anadrol, uh, Anadrol at 100 milligrams for 24 weeks, double the amount of time. Only 5.7 pounds. And again, this is no training. This is uh, no change in diet. Um, this is this is this is just these are just sedentary people taking these drugs. So, in terms of real world studies, muscle gain, I already checked it, but Anavar is the obvious winner. Let's talk about fat loss. Fat loss. Moving on. All right, 12 weeks. Same dosages, guys. Same study. 12 weeks of Anavar usage at 20 milligrams. We have uh, negative 3.3 pounds in fat mass. Okay, all right, that's pretty good. In terms of Anadrol, 100 milligrams of Anadrol for 24 weeks. What do we see? Negative or minus 3.8 pounds of fat mass. 
So who burned more fat? Well, if you go by the length of time, you, you, you'd say, well, Anadrol burned a little bit more fat. Okay, Anadrol burned, what, 0.5, half a pound more fat, but it went for twice as long and at five times the dosage. So who's the clear winner in terms of fat loss? Anavar. Anavar burned 3.3 pounds in 12 weeks versus Anadrol burning uh, 3.8 pounds in 24 weeks. It only burned half a pound more and at five times the dosage, guys. You know, I'm not the only one seeing this. The reason I'm saying this over and over so you guys can see you know, it's not just the anabolic androgenic ratio, it's also the real world studies we have, you know, and again, this rating is, 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 is good, but it's clearly off in terms of um, the potency of Anavar. And we see this with Deanabol, guys. I'll have to do an uh, Anavar, Anadrol, and D-Ball. That'll be a crazy three-way comparison study. But, you know, with Deanabol, Anavar, Anavar, guys, built four to five times more muscle milligram per milligram versus uh, Deanabol versus D-Ball uh, milligram per milligram. That's crazy. So really this ratio arguably would be closer to 578 instead of 478. Um, having said that guys, um, that's pretty much you that's pretty much all you need to know in terms of you know real world unbiased, you know give it to me straight information in terms of anabolic androgenic steroids. Um, Anavar versus Anadrol comparison, but there's one thing I want to add into this comparison, and it's an important thing: safety. All right, so Anadr Anavar wins out on the anabolic androgenic ratio. Real world studies wins out in terms of muscle gain and wins out in terms of fat loss, burning fat. Well, fat. What about safety studies? Well, guys, in terms of safety studies, these two. Anavar versus Anadrol, I would argue, are completely equal, okay? In terms of safety studies, I would argue that they're equal. We have so many, or maybe you give a slight edge to Anadrol, but we have so many from, we have so many safety studies from all over the world in regards to Anavar, in regards to Anadrol. This has been used extensively for so many different medical conditions. Uh, for many studies, you know, again, all over the world, you know, uh, they use they used Anavar and Anadrol uh, for things like, you know, elderly people uh, that are losing lean body mass. They've prescribed it to elderly people. They've prescribed these to children. They've prescribed them to uh, uh, surgery recovery, burn patients, muscle wasting, AIDS, uh, and other things, you know. So the thing is, is that Anavar and Anadrol have both been around a long time. They've been studied, tried, and tested, and they're proven safe uh, at their depending dosages. The only thing that you heard me say, you know, I'd give Anadrol a slight advantage in terms of safety studies. People would be like, what? What do you mean? Because if you look, guys, at the studies carefully, milligram per milligram, it appears that Anadrol uh, is a little bit easier um, on the liver, milligram per milligram. But the thing is, you're not going to be using Anadrol or Anavar had a dosage of 100 milligrams. I just that that that, that would be just uh, psychotic. <laughs> so uh, the point is, guys, uh, you know, in terms of safety, you know, you I'd give a slight edge to Anadrol. But again, the fact remains that at the dosing, at the comparable dosing, if you go by comparable dosing, like we did with the fat loss and the muscle gain, for that matter, you know, in terms of safety at the prescribed dosages, again. Anavar is going to win out even with safety studies. But if you want to go milligram by milligram, Anadrol is going to win out in terms of safety studies. Uh, so, guys, that's pretty much it. That is Anavar versus Anadrol. Everything you would want to know in a comparison. You know, no baloney, giving it to you straight in a comparison. Guys, if you want more information on these two, Watch my Anavar full expert breakdown video or watch my Anadrol full expert breakdown video. I go into much more detail than I can in just uh, a simple um, hit it hard, hit it home uh, comparison between these two. 
And guys, also, if you want to get prescription pharmaceutical grade Anavar or Anadrol, uh, go ahead and sign up at Prometheus HRT. Prometheus HRT is an advanced um, hormone replacement clinic. And, you know, they have testosterone, uh, Anavar, Anadrol, um, HGH peptides, as well as synthetic HGH uh, for usage for advanced hormone replacement medicine. Um, guys, obviously, having said that, um, you need to be healthy and qualify for these compounds, obviously. But having said that, nevertheless, they are available. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Do everything safely, healthfully, and uh, take care of yourself. So, guys, keep the questions coming. Love getting to these videos and giving you guys, um, you know, truthful, unbiased, real answers and getting to the science behind it. Seth Spartan, and we are out of here.